If you or a loved one have been affected by failed prints that result in a blob of the extruder, you may be entitled to watch this video to the end. Well, it finally happened to me. I have two bamboo printers behind me that are as good as paperweights. After being in these Bamboo Lab Facebook groups for months and months and seeing all these catastrophic failures and blobs of death, I never thought it would happen to me personally. I kind of thought I was immune, which is really stupid, but I did. Apparently Karma is finally here to get me back and it struck twice and at the same exact time. I was just trying to get in the holiday spirit, the Halloween spirit, if you will, and print out this cute little ghost when I had a failed print. Now luckily this one isn't too bad. It didn't create too much of a mess. I've actually already cleaned it up, so there's really nothing to show for there. And the printer actually caught itself and gave me a notification that there was a fail to extrude filament. I immediately paused the print went to check it out and here we are. Unfortunately, this was not the video I wanted to put out there for you all this week, but things happen. I'm gonna show you what I do to fix these printers. This is not gonna be an exact step-by-step -step tutorial on how to solve a certain error code. I'm just gonna show you my process on how I'm gonna fix them. Hopefully if you're in the same boat as me, you'll find something in this video helpful. Unlike the A1 Mini, the P1S did have a pretty catastrophic failure. I've never had a failed print quite like this one, and I left this print going overnight. I thought it'd be no big deal. I've done it plenty of time in the past, and I woke up to quite the spaghetti factory. And I decided to leave the mess just so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I was attempting to print this Hue Forge of a cool Supra sign. I'll put the link in the bio if you want to go check it out. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did printing it out. I'm not too sure where or when this failure started. I can only guess that it happened with the white filament. Maybe it didn't bond that well to the black filament, I'm not too sure, it's all PLA, but that's my best guess considering the black filament is laid down nicely and there's just white everywhere. At first I only saw the spaghetti and I was okay with it, a little bit of cleanup, take the failed print off, toss it in the trash, cut your losses, that's it. Then I looked up and the true horrors in front of me were revealed. Now this is a legend that I have never experienced myself, I've only seen it on plenty of forums, and again, I thought it never happened to me. This is what I get for thinking that. It's almost like getting that red ring on your Xbox 360 back in the day, you just, you just kinda knew it was over, and that was it. Unlike the Xbox 360, this is very fixable, and luckily, this blob of death is really more of a blob of injury. This one is not that bad, especially compared to some of the other ones I've seen online. Now that you are all properly caught up on the tragedies that happened to me just a couple of days ago, let's find out how we're gonna fix this. If you have a print failure that you just cannot recover from and you need to order some parts, but you still need things printing while it's coming, there are some great options out there such as PCBWay, which is the sponsor of today's video. PCBWay offers an amazing service where you can upload your 3D print files, pick from all sorts of different materials that most people cannot print out of, such as ABS, ASA, nylon, carbon fiber, filaments, other abrasives, and they will ship that product out to you when it is done printing. They offer high quality prints, they even offer resin printing for some of those objects that regular 3D printers just can't create. And if it's something that 3D printing cannot do, such as CNC machining, they also offer that as well. You can get your acrylic all cut out to any size that you need. And if you need a PCB, guess what? They're the guys for that as well. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. This would not be possible without them. Go check them out in the description down below. All right, this might be a little more difficult than I was expecting. And actually, looking at it now, it looks like, see, the purge line is underneath the print. That definitely could have something to do with this. See if they can actually, yeah, look at that. You can actually pull, I don't know if you can see that, you can pull the purge line out from underneath the print. I'm willing to bet money that that's what started this whole issue. Look at the quality of that first layer though. And here's our culprit right here, purge line. Get rid of that. All right, this plate is pretty much good to go back in service. We're just gonna have to give it a clean before. Now let's move on to the inside here, which just a whole lot of pasta. Now there is filament everywhere. This is the main chunk of it right here. Now this is kind of interesting. I feel like a detective right now. 
this is a layer. You can see that it's flat. So that was at one point attached to this and it must have gotten ripped off. All right, we have to bring out the big guns and by that, I mean a vacuum. And I just realized I completely missed all of this area up here, this side rail. There's even some pieces in the corner way, way over there. We definitely have a lot more vacuuming to do than I thought. Now that we have it all cleaned up a little bit, I'm going to take our handy dandy display here, move our Z axis down as far as it can go so we can get a little bit more room to see what's going on with the extruder. All right, it doesn't look to be too terrible at all right now. I'm going to see if it's attached to the cover first looks like it is not so now we can kind of see a little bit more of what's going on now that we have the cover off this is actually a whole lot better than i was hoping i kind of thought that the entire extruder and all of the covers were going to be just filled with filament that is not the case um i think i might have got a little bit lucky here this piece is definitely still on there good and i don't want to try to snap it off because it could break some of the components in the extruder I'm going to heat it up to a little bit hotter than what PLA normally prints at and then I'm going to try to work it out with pliers of course. Wow I didn't even get that on camera but I'm not even kidding as soon as it hit 250 degrees it just plopped right on down. And you can actually see our extruder is pushing out some of the filament that is left over in there. Everything appears to be working just fine. I can't believe how easy that was. That is insane. As happy as I am that, that was so simple for me, I know that it's not gonna be as simple to remove that blob for some of you, and I do feel bad that I'm not able to show you the process that I would have done to remove that blob had it been more stuck. I'm still gonna show you the procedure, but the blob is gone now, so I can't exactly show you, rem you know what I mean? You know what I mean, all right. Obviously we had the best case scenario, but the next thing I would have done is taken a pair of pliers or snips or pretty much anything that you have that is not your fingers and slowly pry around the blob, try to get it off of the nozzle, try to get it off of the rubber. If the pliers didn't do the trick and it was still on there, I would have removed the boots just like that because more than likely your blob is going to be attached to this right here. This piece is very tiny and very replaceable. You can find replacements for this on the Bamboo Lab website. If you're not able to free it from this, I would simply order a new one. Uh, again, that sucks that you have to order a new piece, but that's how I would go about this situation. If all else fails, I would remove the full extruder assembly, which is this entire piece and the fan. And I won't exactly show you how to do it in this video, but there's plenty of videos out there. I highly recommend you look it up. It's basically gonna be removing a couple of screws as well as unplugging some wires. This entire assembly will come off from the whole print head itself. And you're gonna use a heat gun, a hair dryer. I've even seen people use blow torches, which I can't recommend, but you can do whatever you want. I can't stop you. I'm simply a guy on a video. Heat up the filament as best as you can. And again, try to pry it off of the actual extruder itself. And if that fails, you can always buy a new full extruder assembly for around 30 bucks on the Bamboo Lab website. Not the end of the world, but it's an extra 30 bucks you have to spend and you're gonna have to wait for that thing to ship out, which I know sucks. Once you're able to solve the problem of the blob, we're just gonna throw our cover back on there and make sure that all the wires stay in place. And it connects appropriately. You will get an error if the cover is not on correctly, so you'll know right away. Now I'm gonna clean up the new mess that we have created by melting off all of that extra filament and make sure that our heat bed is ready to go. Now I'm gonna take our build plate Clean it off with some isopropyl or soapy water or water. It's very controversial what you use to clean these things. The important thing is that you clean them. Now we can throw this back in our printer. And fresh off of the P1S, I know most people would probably print out a Benchy or something else for their first test print after something like this. I said no way, we're going to give it a real challenge and this is how it turned out. And that's all I got for you guys today. Again, this is not the video I wanted to put out, but things happen. So I really appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. 
If you found it helpful, a like and a subscribe is always appreciated. If you have any questions or comments, you want to call me out on something, leave it in the comments down below and I will do my best to respond to them as quickly as I can. You can go check out some of my other videos in the corner, maybe that corner, I don't know. Go check out the other videos and I hope you have a great rest of your day.